I'd like to welcome Jeremy Pilon, Vice Chair, Windsor Parade Corporation. Welcome to the show, Jeremy. Hi, thank you for having me. How are you and your family doing during the pandemic? You know, we're doing as uh, as well as we can be. You know, it's uh, the same challenges for everyone. I've got a school-aged son who's homeschooling and my wife is working from home. So we're, we're making the adjustments we need to make and uh, moving forward. Uh, how has COVID-19 affected Summerfest and the Windsor uh, Parade Corporation? Well, uh, COVID has had a substantial effect. Uh, impacts on all large-scale events, and Windsor Parade is uh, Windsor Parade Corporation is no different. Summerfest is one of our largest uh, events of the year. It's three weeks at the beginning of every summer. It's sort of a you know a family tradition and the unofficial kickoff for for uh, summer in Windsor. And we were absolutely gutted when we had to uh, cancel Summerfest, uh, but we've taken this opportunity uh, to get our board together and get our volunteers together, put our heads together and try and develop some new virtual programming that fits with the situation that we're in and still tries to give an opportunity to create those family memories and, and maybe create some new family traditions. How, how, so tell us, how have you adjusted and what plans are in place for Summerfest and Can the Canada Day Parade? Um, Sure. Uh, so we have three uh, sort of key events and then a few peripheral events. Uh, so what we've tried to do is uh, we've always had Summerfest for these three weeks um, in, at, towards the latter half of June, culminating in the Canada Day Parade. So what we've decided to do is run a couple of contests for the duration of Summerfest. Uh, the first one being our Canada Day Rocks contest, uh, which asks uh, community members to uh, paint a rock and hide it uh, or paint a rock and place it in the community for other people to find take a picture with a rock whether you painted it or whether you found it and submit it to am800 for a chance to win some staycation prizes from one of our partners at tourism windsor essex uh, peely island uh, the second uh, uh, contest uh, that's running for that same time period is our uh, a porch parade contest so we're we're disappointed that we can't bring the Canada Day Parade so we're asking people to be the parade uh, decorate your porch your front yard uh, your balconies what have you uh, in red and white in uh, anything patriotic uh, click a picture and enter to win over at AM 800 and uh, uh, encourage your friends and your neighbors to do the same thing and then you can spend some time on Canada Day walking around the neighborhood and taking a look at uh, all the uh, red and white pride uh, and uh, have your own Canada Day Parade. Uh, we're also going to be bringing you on uh, Facebook uh, at, at Windsor Parade Corp uh, vignettes every day uh, for the for the period of Summerfest showing some of our favorite memories of Summerfest and all of this culminates on uh, Canada Day with uh, a special presentation by the band Leave Those Kids Alone. Uh, they'll be singing a special rendition of O Canada Day. O, pardon me. They'll be speaking, providing us a special rendition of O Canada. And uh, we'll have some messages from uh, the Multicultural uh, Society and uh, from Mayor Dilkins as well. So, and that'll drop on noon at the Windsor Parade Corporation uh, Facebook page. Excellent, and uh, I believe your TV will be carrying that also. Uh, we also dug into our archives and are, are looking to air, we're just trying to get it all together right now, the 1999 Canada Day Parade. So Excellent. that'll bring that'll bring back a few memories to, 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 to <laughs> some of us. Uh, one of the big things with COVID-19 is the uncertainty. You're dealing with, you know, Canada Day now, we have no clue or no idea what will happen for Santa Claus Parade. Is there any thoughts on that? Or is there just so much uncertainty we just don't know? Well, certainly the uncertainty is one of the biggest uh, issues facing any event producer or any business, really. Uh, it's much broader than just events. But uh, rest assured, we have been bringing you great community events for decades and we're, we fully intend to bring you these great Canada or great events 
either whether it's Canada Day or whether it's the Christmas parades this year and well into the future. Uh, they, depending on how the situation goes, they may not be the standard physical parades, but rest assured you will have uh, Windsor Parade uh, providing some great content uh, and great opportunities for families to get together. Terrific. Uh, there's always hope. We're always looking forward. What are you looking forward to when the pandemic is over? Well, I, you know, honestly, I, I, I think um, one of the biggest things for all of us is just getting back to a sense of normalcy. And I, I, I know our team at the Windsor Parade Corporation is, is looking forward to working with all of our great sponsors and um, our community partners and bringing and bringing the community back together, creating events that can bring us back together and, and really sort of relive some of the memories that we maybe we feel like we missed out on during this whole uh, lockdown thing. So that that's really where our organization is focused is being ready to, to bring the community back uh, when we're all ready to get back together. Yeah, and I think we're all looking forward to, the, to that. Uh, thanks, Jeremy, for being on our show today. Please stay safe and stay well. Uh, thank you. I just want to take a moment to, to uh, thank all of our sponsors that actually made this possible. Uh, the, our presentation is sponsored in part by uh, the Government of Canada, by Your TV, Bell Media, and Tours in Windsor Essex, Peely Island. And we would be remiss if we didn't thank them all. So thank you and thank the community for participating. Thanks, Jeremy. Appreciate it. Take care. Bye. That was Jeremy Pilon, Vice Chair of the Windsor Parade Corporation.